All signs point to a more premium Android experience, but at what cost? I'm Evan Rogers, and this is 90 Seconds on The Verge. Multiple rumors this month have pointed to a new Silver program from Google showcasing the best of Android at carrier stores. According to the information, Android Silver would actually replace Google's more mid-range Nexus program. Though never a big seller, Google's Nexus program has had a big impact on Android. Let's take a look back. This is the Nexus One. The first so-called Google phone debuted January 2010, made by HTC and running the then brand new Android 2.2 Froyo. That's always been the hallmark of a Nexus, the latest and greatest Android with nothing added by carriers or manufacturers. That means no TouchWiz, no Sense UI, and no Vcast. Google has released one Nexus phone per year, rotating between top tier manufacturers. After HTC made the first one, Samsung took over for Nexus S in December 2010, followed by the Galaxy Nexus one year later. LG has been the latest Nexus OEM, making both 2000 2012's Nexus 4 and the latest Nexus 5. That all leads us to today. The Nexus 5 is only six months old, which means a new model wouldn't be expected until later this year. While Google hasn't released sales figures, it has said the Nexus 5 is a quote, strong performer. And in 2012, Google expanded the Nexus program with seven and 10 inch tablets. But let's circle back to Android Silver. The closest thing we have to that program right now is Google Play Edition, a selection of premium handsets like the new HTC One with pure Android. If Silver ends up replacing the Nexus and gunning for the high end, what will fill the void in the middle? That's a good question. For more on Android Silver, check out The Verge. Coming up, Google unveils its Gold program, which is just a series of bedazzled Moto Xs.